Rust is growing rapidly and more and more CLI tools are being rebuilt or redesigned to shed the assumptions that used to be true but aren't anymore. Here are 10 great Rust CLI tools you can use in 2022. Starting off at number 10, there are a ton of what I'll call utility programs that are used every day for routine shell usage. These include cat, ls, cd, and sed, and I'm going to wrap up this collection into only one of our 10 slots. First, we've got bat, which is a replacement for cat. Cat outputs a file just fine, but bat adds line numbers, syntax highlighting, and git integration. Have you ever been confused by sed's syntax? Then sd could be for you. Use sd before and after rather than a bunch of slashes and integrate with the next tools that we're going to talk about, fd, to replace text in an entire project. fd performs the same functionality as find with an updated user experience. It lacks some of the functionality of find, but in return yields a much more usable file finding utility for daily use cases. Finally, we have the ls replacements. If you like nerd icons, check out lsd, and if you don't, check out exa. Number nine in our list is Zoxide, that's Oxide with a Z, which while technically being a replacement for CD, adds significantly different functionality. Zoxide remembers which directories you use more frequently and allows you to shortcut jump your way around your file system. Coming in at number eight is Delta. Delta is a replacement for git diff. That is, it shows the diff between one file and another with code highlighting and other customizable decorations. Show your diffs side by side or in a unified view, Syntax highlight grep output from rip grep, and theme your heart out with Delta themes and a bat compatible syntax highlighting. In addition to being a diff replacement, Delta also includes enhanced git blame output for your terminal. Coming in at number seven, rip grep is a grep replacement that works well in code bases. Why does it work well in code bases? Because it defaults to searching directories of files, it runs in parallel by default, and it respects git ignore files, ignoring many of the files we as programmers don't want to search by default. RipGrep also supports searching compressed files, and if you install the RipGrep All Wrapper project, you can also search PDFs, SQLite, subtitle tracks, and more. At number six, we have Kondo, named after Marie Kondo, author of The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. As you might infer from that, Kondo is a program that will delete unneeded directories and files from your system. Which files, you ask? Kondo supports a number of different project types, including directories like the target directory in a cargo project, or the node modules directory in a Node.js project. It also comes with a GUI that will scan and report how much space you can get back by running Kondo in a particular directory. Starting off the top five, we have Toke. Toke is a counting tool for lines of code in a project. The output is incredibly similar to clock, count lines of code, but with a different feature set and different defaults, including the addition of color in the output. Toke, like many Rust projects, can also be embedded as a library in your Rust project. Overall, choosing clock or toke for day-to-day -day usage is either subjective or dependent on your use case. Holding spot number four, we have Starship, which bills itself as the minimal, blazing fast, and infinitely customizable prompt for any shell. While my personal usage is turn every configuration option off, I still appreciate having a cross-shell prompt that can follow me through my experiments with Bash, Z Shell, New Shell, or any other alternative shell I try on any platform. Starship is extremely customizable, both in appearance and text content and has cargo ships worth of information that you can choose to display or not via a toml based configuration file. The information available for your prompt covers Git, AWS, environment variables, custom commands, and almost every language I've ever used. Getting into the top three, we have Zalige, which is most easily understood as an alternative to Tmux or Screen. That said, the features that make Zalige special aren't just its workspace support, but rather its native layout and plugin system. Layouts in Zalige can be written out to YAML files and include the ability to specify window splits, tabs, plugins, and whether to reattach to existing sessions or not. Plugins in Zalige are written targeting WASM and WASI, and even the built-in status bar, tab bar, and file finder are all plugins. Have you ever been frustrated with the arcane instructions in a make file? Just as a replacement for make that is just a command runner, not a full build system. Because of this, just can avoid make idiosyncrasies like the .phony recipes. Just comes with helpful features like built-in help text, .env support, and listing of available recipes, as well as helpful integrations like a GitHub action. Just can also be easily installed via your package manager of choice, including as a replacement for NPM scripts in JavaScript projects. At number one, I had to drop New Shell for you. New Shell is a full-on replacement for Bash, Z Shell, or whatever shell you're currently using. New Shell is my personal shell of choice because it uses structured data instead of strings everywhere. 
The output for ls in new shell, for example, is a table. This allows easier manipulation of data, such as sorting, filtering, or iterating, without needing to parse strings. This also extends to other data types. New shell natively understands common data types like JSON, YAML, and CSV, which can all be dealt with as structured tables and lists. On top of that, New Shell also understands more interesting data types, such as SQLite databases, Excel, and even data frames. Imagine opening a SQLite database and querying it directly from your shell, or loading 5 million rows from a CSV into a data frame and processing it in hundreds of milliseconds, times that are competitive with production data frame tooling like Pandas. Of course, with such new functionality, sometimes you'll want to escape New Shell's grasp and use the open command on Mac or the native LS. This too is easy by prefixing the name with a caret. Prefixing open with caret will call out to the max native open command instead of new shell's data loading open built-in. Even with all of that, you can write your own custom commands and plugins to extend new shell in new and interesting ways. One part of this that I really enjoy personally is that the custom commands are functions with named arguments. This combines really well when defining subcommands, which can have optional arguments, typed arguments, flags, and rest parameters. Even better, Documentation is built in, so all you have to do is write a comment and you get full-on help text for all of the arguments, flags, and descriptions. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Rust CLI ecosystem. If I forgot your favorite tool, leave a comment in the description so I can go check it out. Have a great day.